Exodus Communications. Mm-hmm. Is it a company based in Ghana only or is it an international company? Well, for now, Exodus is busy. I mean, we, we won't say we are international. Fact, we have a partner in maybe like the US, but we are more like Ghanaian companies. I have been monitoring Exodus Communications for some time now. I see that you are into awards. Could you please tell me the number of awards you have organized in Ghana? In 2014, we began the awards. I would say that we began the awards journey. So we started with the Ghana on Oil and Gas Awards. And then we moved on to the Ghana Auto Awards. And then from the Auto Awards, we moved on to, I think, the aviation, right? So it was on after the aviation, we sold it back to somebody else. And then we went to the manufacturing. And then now we went into the 40 and the 40 hours. And we have about two more to look at in next year as well. You see, there are some people that if you don't recognize them forever, they may not have recognition at all. And that's a worry because the thing is that they may be excelling. So had it not been that there's only maybe CMG or banking, then where would they go again? How can they recognize? And they are, these are people who are doing something on the ground. I mean, so, so those are the awards that we have done in time. We have also consulted for an award like a Shippers Award and then, I mean, Telecom I was to we do consultation for them and then currently we are having consulting for the Ghana and um, accountancy and then finance award as well. Talking about recognition, do you think that recognition is important in business? Because some businesses or some individuals in business are tempted to chicken out when they are not being recognized. I mean you should drive your own business. You don't have to look at it the fact that if I've not been awarded you have to go now. But it, to some extent, I mean when it, 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 it does bring these people out for Ghanaians to appreciate them and then see what they are doing in this country. Um, I think that that's what I can say. I mean, because when you do these things sometimes, the people get to know, oh, so that this company like under 40, people didn't even know that some of them were under 40s and they were doing very well. So the public got to know. And to be very frank, at their meeting, some of them did a lot. They had a lot of business discussions and all that. I mean, they were engaging each other one way or the other in business. And just because you have brought them together at one place. So it, it, it does help with growth because then you get to know that, oh, this person is into this, so what can you do? So it's a network that we're building. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What is your interest? Why the focus on those in the, in the world of business? You see, the thing is that recognition is very important. I mean, if you're doing something for a very long time and you're putting up an effort and you don't have people recognizing you, you're not motivated. If you look at Maslow theory, I mean, sometimes you need certain motivations and all that. And we think that it's a space that we have covered so that when Ghanaians are doing well in different fields, that's how come we have what we call uh, most of our awards are like industry days. Uh, the section of 40 and 49 looks a bit generalized, but just that we, we, we think that people who are excelling must be acknowledged. I mean, basically, that's the whole simple truth, and that's what Exodus does. Uh, so, basically, that, that's now let's look at the under 40 awards. Give me your reasons for that. Um, under 40, because the thing is, you see. Even in the country, it's said that if you want to stand for presidency, I mean, you will agree with me that it has to be 40. So it looks like even the age before the 40, they're able to excel and do something that or achieve a certain level of results. Then we say you are going ahead of your age. Now, under 42, because sometimes they think the youth have channeled their kind of energy or exuberance into a lot of things. Uh, that the adults are like, always complete, that the youth is more energetic and exuberant. You know, I saw this youth have channeled their energy into good business. I want those people to be seen that they are trailblazers and industry pace setters. I mean, and we also have people that you can see that the next generation of leaders, but nobody has seen them and they are under 40. So if you group them now and give them and pat them at the back, motivate them, then they will know that, you see, you don't let them get to 50, 60, and I get into that degree is what you want to acknowledge. No. So that, that's that's why we, we chose under 40. Yeah. And you say life begins at 40. So you need to start with uh, uh, those who are less than 40 and what they are doing in this country and look at it critically. To support them, you know, bring them together, let them interdepend, and then it, 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 it sort of also ensures some business growth among I mean, these this, this, this individuals and companies. Yeah. How many entries came in? 246 entries. Okay. So we had to scale it down a bit, but individuals to that came were more. You know, the en- entries are different from the conference, normally in two or three. So individuals about 136 or so. I mean, we had to scale it down because some of them were more than 40. Some were not owning their businesses. That's one of the qualifications, and we had to take them out. And so before we came to 121 nominees, and they were all fighting for 40 trophies, but we had what we call honorary award as well. 
So we awarded people in categories based, I mean, banking and finance like the four, I mean, investment won by Kote Janis, I mean, and then BATS in ESA and pension, in like ESA pensions. I mean, you find maybe Akizenos, that is a leader, Napier Berma, I mean, in architecture, you know, that kind of thing. Then we came to Honorary where we had Eskin and it's Eskin being awarded also in, in, in women empowerment and all that. So, were you impressed with the number of women, more women doing outstanding things or behind um, major businesses in the country? Yeah, when I look at my list, I think that some women, great women were also, I, I can't remember, Rebecca Donko, Anita Eskin, Brigidi Abina, Nanekia Berma, I mean, Lisa Donko, I mean, like, quite a number of women I can all So if you look at it, the ratio wasn't bad. The one we were nominated it was like, 121 and then 30, so it was like almost like three is to one or so. Fairly not bad. Were you at some point overwhelmed getting to know some of the personalities behind some big business entities in the country? Overwhelmed, yeah, of course. I mean, some people did so overwhelmed. I mean, I started to see some kind of companies that look like uh, they don't look like. Uh, in the 40, no companies, but individuals that man those companies and all that. So, <clears throat> clearly, I mean, you were shocked that okay, oh, so this business is being run by another 40 that means it's excelling. Wow. And that is that's encouraged a lot of people who, if even take that competition we're reading, they are even encouraged to even do more as an individual themselves because glad, I mean, clearly, we gathered that okay, if these guys are 30 something and they are excelling, like 32 years, somebody like Makot Lee is now getting to 32 and has. A whole group of companies. I mean, can imagine. So that's that's sort of an. Answer. How were the awards given? Hmm. Process. You know, after receiving the entries, uh, all we did was uh, we sent it to a uh, instant young. So okay. they would do a bad, like compilation of it, and then the questions that they were asked, they would actually tell us that okay, these are the questions that they asked. So fine, they would then they would, they, would, they would then compile it and send to us. Um. Now, when that came, they, it came to a technical competition from Ernst and Young. They also analyzed it and then scored it against various categories. I mean, there's a parameter that we're using, so we went to score against it and all that. From, from then, from there, you take it to the board. Now, you went to the awarding board. There's a video we had to take in order to show that indeed there was an awarding board meeting. So, he, he, after going to the board, the board then took a decision on it, and then that's how come we arrived. The results that we have. So those were the processes. Some we're looking at innovation, we're looking at power and influence, we're looking at community support and development. And some of them have also we had text messages for it, text messaging that composed about twenty percent of the mark. So even if you score plenty text messages and the eighty mark and able to score it, then that's a problem. So the highest person actually had to had to win in the category. And don't forget, when we send it to the board, the board also at a point said no, some of them cannot win. There had to be a whole argument. I mean the whole day, I mean just uh, just to take a decision on them. Technical committee met three times trying to decide the winners. So basically that was the process. How many members did you have on the board? What is a five member board? Made up of only Ghanaians? Yes, only Were the awards open to only Ghanaians? Yes, of course. We must be a Ghanaian and resident in Ghana. I mean doing business. We we don't we don't do foreign so it's for only Ghanaians. On what basis was an individual adjudged the overall best under 40 personality? The thing is, we're looking at, these are all equals, we call them they're all equals, but we need a first among the equals, so that when you put them together, you can work. We're looking at how the drive, the entrepreneurship, the style, the number of companies that the person probably have managed, and then maybe the impact the person has made into community and the national development. So those are things that we're looking at and saying, okay, who stands out tall when you compare all these people? Or put them on the ground, and basically we ended up coming on the of the Kote journey, especially because aside everything is also served on the Council of State, and being the youngest uh, advisor to the president, even on African continent. So you know how he's built the business from one like great finance and those uh, trusts, whatever savings and loans or whatever, and gradually move on to bottling, company, bought TV Africa, done serious acquisitions. We 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 but about looked at it and said no, well, indeed the person has excelled. So that we should look at that category. And that's how come Dr. Kotek Jan. In all, how many awards were given? Well, if you look at it, there were 39 categories, but we couldn't find a winner for one. So it became 30, 38, I guess. Which category couldn't you find an award for In one? Logistics, we couldn't find somebody there. Logistics and supplies, we didn't find anybody. 
But two people were there, but we couldn't find them as in the board thought that they could not meet up the criteria, so we couldn't award. So even if we say 14 and 40, in a year, if we don't find the 14 people, we will not award. We will just award those we find. So the day we find the 40, we, 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 the 40. we don't have to force ourselves looking for the 40 people in the street. That will be a big job. So oh, to those who were nominated but couldn't win any award, uh, what's mm. your um, advice or message to them? Everybody is a winner. See, the thing is that if you don't win, Christ, you understand that everybody is a winner. Now, if um, you don't win, remember that you can win. There's always next year. It's not a yearly affair. Except that maybe if you are 40 years, then there's a problem. So, because the funny thing that somebody was saying that unless some people score 40 years very early, others will not be able to win. But hard work. I mean, just, just, just hard work. And then you can get into into the 40 and the 40. So do you have any upcoming events before the year ends? Oh, no, auto, auto show is on the 19th of October. And auto awards is on the 20th of October. And then from there we'll move on to the finance and accountancy awards. Actually, we are consulting for um, Strategic Africa. So that's on the 10th of November. And then we'll have our oil and gas on the 8th of December, which is the final one. I think that then we can close the rest. It's not be easy. It's quite tiring for the year, but we keep doing what we have to do. Okay, so we're done with the under 40 awards and we're still talking about business. A few months ago, you invited me to the opening of the John Possible stores here in Accra. And um, it's a partnership between you and Hosman Shoes. I know that you're now the authorized dealer of Hosman Shoes. Tell me, how has business been so far since you came into partnership with Hosman Shoes? Do Ghanaians love made in Ghana goods? Is business good? I'm now the authorized dealer for Hosman mm -hmm. Shoes. And that is a John Possible stores. It's a subsidiary of Exodus, so that um, that's a different ownership. Yeah. Very good, very well, because made in Ghana things people actually like it. And the quality of those watches is on, you cannot compromise that. The quality is of, of some top notch. Right? So we make it in roads. I mean, a lot of people have uh, bought this, uh, this shoe. We don't struggle at all with it. Yeah. We jump possible stuff. We have hot machines. Now, the shoe, like I said, made in Ghana and people like it. We're promoting it. We, we don't relax to it. Then that means that <laughs> stop wearing Kevin Klein and all that. Or probably any other brand, but this is a very good brand you can wear. Forget about Prada, Ben Sherman, and all that. This is made in Ghana. I've been wearing Osman since 2011. I haven't had issues. So, we sell it. We do that. So, in a few words, what is your advice to people in the business industry? I've said that money is not success. And I always say if you want the gold, you get to see the dust. First. So, get your sympathy sometimes. Money is not the problem. And I said success is not money. It's, it's, you see, it's doing what you like best and then achieving it. It doesn't mean you should have 200,000 before you say you have success. Even with your 10,000, if you are able to achieve or within a certain, use that to achieve certain things and be happy about what you're doing. That's fine. Your happiness is more important. And I said that if you want to get the good, you need to get to reach the dust. I mean, you dig the good, you need to get the dust. So you must be dirty sometimes. So don't worry when you are dirty. I mean, it's, it's, it's a matter of time. You get to the good. And that's what I said. Lead from front and not lead from the back. And if you want to, want to go, to a war, a leader receive the gunshot. So you don't be back and be directing things, and you don't see how the thing is going and all that. So, and I don't say against that. We can make it. I mean, we can do it. There's nothing that we cannot do. Everything that we want to do is inside us. The environment has some forces that control us. If we push a bit in the environment that we live in, we will go for it. But if we are lazy and we sleep, we cannot make it. Then there's parties who always take over this country. Then Ghanaians will be sitting. And risk taking is more riskier. Well, you don't risk it. So better risk it. But don't keep standing. You know what stagnant water does? It's dirty. It smells. So don't be stagnant. Move. And stop being lazy. And let's, let's, let's stop being like, we cannot do it. It's difficult. The thing to speak controls everything you do. So positive speaking.